Today, we're in the herd with men's basketball. We're introducing Bucknell fans to the incoming freshman class, and one of those is guard Ryan Frazier. For the last two years, he attended the Salisbury School in Connecticut. We won the NEPSAC Class A championship. Um, we had a pretty good season. I think we were 22-5, and five, and um, it was my first state championship ever, so it was a, greatest com a great accomplishment. In an effort to prepare for his first year of college basketball, Frazier called on an old friend. I worked out with my friend Zaid Hurst. He's um, a sophomore at Quinnipiac University, so he had kind of already been through the transition of freshman year from high school to college. So I worked out with him a lot. He pushed me really hard. He had gotten a lot better. So over the summer, that's what I did to prepare for this um, upcoming season at Bucknell. Now that he's had a taste of some competition and practices, he knows he has a good bit to learn. Yeah, definitely in the preseason, it was it was tough the first couple of weeks. Just the pace of the game, how strong everybody is. And at this level, everybody was their best player on their high school team. So everybody's coming in, they're confident, they're talented. And just getting used to the pace of the game and you know, having to defend every single possession and having to go all, all out 100% every single possession, whether it's on offense or defense, just to be able to get your shot off. Definitely been an adjustment, but I think I'm adjusting well so far and I'm looking forward to the season. As he does learn more and more each practice, Frazier thinks he can definitely bring something to the team. I'm just going to bring a positive attitude, um, a strong work ethic. Somebody's going to come to practice and give it their all every day. I'm going to hit open jump shots when the chances provided and I just plan on being a great teammate and making a, a contribution to the team when it's needed. Ryan says not only is the speed of the game vastly different than high school or prep school, but so is the attention given to each player. We have four coaches as eight eyes on you and just looking at every little thing that you do, just pointing it out. And it's just the smallest details that they point out because and that's what gets you over the hump because everybody here is good. Everybody can make the shot, but it's the, the little things that win championships. Now it's not all about basketball for Frazier as he is also adjusting to the academic demands placed on him. The biggest adjustment so far has been the amount of reading that's assigned and trying to determine which, which readings are actually going to be applicable in class or on the tests or on the quizzes. So just determining where to put your time. Time management has definitely been a uh, tough adjustment. Not tough, but um, a, an adjustment. Even though he's in just his first semester in college, he has already decided on a major. I've decided to major in management. Uh, my mother majored in management or business administration when she was in college. Um, so I have a background there, somebody who's pretty knowledgeable in that field. And I'm interested. I love working with people. I love working in teams. That's part of the reason why I love basketball so much. Unlike many freshmen, Ryan has some extra special help adjusting to the college academic grind. It helps a lot having my mom there. She was a professor at Howard University, so I ask her about how to approach a teacher, um, maybe what I should add to a specific type of paper, and you know, she's very helpful. Of course, it's not just he and his mom in the Frazier household. I have a younger sister. Her name is Erin. She's a senior in high school in my hometown, Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, my father, Norman Frazier, huge influence on my life, always there. Um, part of the reason why I love so bas basketball so much and work so hard at it is because of him, because of his dedication to the sport, you know, just pushing me in all aspects, whether that be in basketball or academic-wise. Frazier says Coach Aaron Kelly was the first college coach to contact him, and knowing Bucknell's success against Kansas and Arkansas in the NCAA tournament made Bucknell his only choice. I was getting recruited by some other schools, but there was really no place else that I wanted to go besides Bucknell. And it was a combination of both basketball and academics. I mean, education like this is just something I couldn't pass up. Now, while Ryan hopes to hit a few high notes on the court, he already knows how to musically. At my boarding school in Connecticut, I sang in the gospel choir for two years. And I, I'd sang in a choir before in middle school, but I hadn't done it at my previous high school. So when I went up to Connecticut, I kind of got into it again, and I enjoyed it. So I like singing. I'm pretty musical. Come from a, I come from a musical family. And when the conversation turns to this year's Bison team, he thinks it will be special. We have a confident team. We have four, I think, um, all Patriot League players returning, and you can tell like these. They're just they're very good basketball players, and even more so, they're very good leaders. Um, they go hard. They're intense. They talk when talk is needed, but 
they really show through their actions more so than anything. So I think we have a great chance to win the Patriot League title, be in the same position that we were yes, last year, and um, hopefully make it to the NCAA tournament.